This is Hammer Striker here. And we're going to talk to you today about the Walther PPQ. This particular one is an M2 Navy, which is only available at 9mm. It comes from the factory with two magazines. First, we'll show that the gun is clear. It comes from the factory with two magazines a 15 round steel magazine and a 17 round steel magazine with a pinky extender. And the pinky extender does fit the contour of the grip. On the PPQs, they've gone through a couple different generations. This is the M2 series. The biggest noticeable difference with the M2 is the push button mag release right here, like uh, most other conventional handguns. It is reversible. The uh, original PPQ and the subsequent M1 had the paddle release on the trigger, which was ambidextrous. The Navy version has a few significant differences from other M2s. It comes with a 4.6 inch threaded barrel with a barrel protector. It also has the marine cups for the, fire, the striker assembly and a drain hole. That way it can operate when wet or underwater. This particular one has the polymer rear sight, which is windage adjustable via the screw right there. Has all the uh, st standard safety features you've come to expect in striker fired weapons such as this. It has the split trigger with a little, so that it, part of the drop safety mechanism. Internally, it does have the firing pin block and drop safeties has a ambidextrous slide release and it's a, a relatively large slide release but it's low profile and it fits fairly flush so you're not going to be catching it by accident or you know holding it up with your finger but it is easy to get to and takedown is similar to a Glock and many others you pull down on the two pins slide the slide off the gun itself is 7.8 inches long it's 5.3 inches tall and 1.3 inches wide. So it's not a, a particularly small gun, but it's not huge either. It has a very nice 5.6 pound trigger a, with an extremely short reset. I'll, I'll demonstrate the trigger in a second. It also comes with three interchangeable back straps to contour the back strap to fit your hand. On this one, you do have to pound out a, a roll pin here to pop the back strap off. Put the new one on, pound the roll pin back in. It also comes with a lanyard loop, so that you can put a lanyard around, you know, especially if you're going to be out in the field and you know, carrying it, help reduce the likelihood of dropping it. So let me show you the, uh, the internals of it. First we'll start, I'll demonstrate the trigger. The trigger pull on this is excellent. Again, it's empty. Very little take up. That's pretty much the take up on it right there. And once you're on the take up, Reasonable pull and real crisp break. Now for the, uh, so again we'll do the take up, pull, break. Now the reset is one of the big things that everybody likes about this gun. That's the reset. And then break. So once you've cycled it, exceptionally short reset, and you're right on the break. Very easy to rapid fire, double tap. And, and, and operate this in a competition type environment. Takedown is relatively easy. Verify clear. Now on this particular one, you do have to unscrew the thread protector. And it's a really good idea to leave the thread protector on it when you're using it. But unfortunately, one thing you will have to deal with with the thread protector is it, as it thermal cycles when you're firing it, it will loosen up. So you do have to tighten it periodically. One of the options for that is you can buy a Jarvis aftermarket barrel like this one. And this is four inches long, which is the, stack, the factory length, and it eliminates the threaded barrel, which if you're simply going to the range, you're not going to put a suppressor or some sort of a barrel accessory on it, this barrel eliminates the need to mess around with the thread protector. Once you've removed the thread protector, pull the trigger. Pull back on the slide slightly, the easiest way to do that is just grip it and squeeze. Pull down on the two tabs, and the slide comes right off. 
The interior is similar to most all of the other polymer wonders. You've got the trigger group back here. The drop safety release here. Guide rails, both sides. And then at the back. In the slide, to remove the barrel, it's standard captive spring. It is a single recoil spring, but it's captive. Pop the barrel out, and then slide it up through. And you do want to be relatively careful when you're going through the slide uh, hole to not drag the threads and you know, beat up your threads. If you wanted to put the non-threaded barrel in, that would drop back in, in just in the same place as the other one, and you'll notice it's almost flush. The drain hole is right here. And the purpose for that drain hole, get the pick out of the way so you can actually see it, is if this if this were to get underwater or get wet, that allows pressure to equalize in the firing pin so the firing pin wouldn't hydrostatic lock and also to drain. And then this mechanism right here is the drop safety. The pin on Shoji in the frame will push up on this to release the firing pin block and allow the weapon to fire. Reassembly after you've cleaned it is as simple as dropping the barrel back in. Now this part you want to be careful you guide the barrel through and make sure that you don't constantly hit the, the threads. Put the spring back in. Make sure it's in place. Slide the line up the, the rails. Cycle. And then remember to put the thread protector back on. And you want to be careful not to cross thread it. And then snug it up tight. It's not a good idea to go after this with pliers or any other type of tool. You, you will chew up the knurling and it won't stop it from loosening up as it heats. A couple of the other features that this gun has. It has a Picatinny rail. So you can add lights, lasers, and other accessories. And the, the sight, the rear sight, actually provides a shelf, which can be used if you need to cycle it against a belt, a boot, side of a table, or some sort of situation where you're operating one-handed, <clears throat> and for whatever reason you can't use your other hand. Sights on this are a three-dot configuration. Very easy to see. There's a slight gap between the dots and the, to allow you to see a bit of the target, so effectively they're combat sights. Very easy to acquire, very easy to see. This is a gun that's extremely easy to shoot well, and very pleasant to shoot. It, it absorbs recoil very, very well. The Navy version, like I mentioned, is only available in 9mm. The standard M2 and the M1, they're available in 40 caliber as well. Same basic chassis and frame. Overall, it's a excellent pistol, it's a wonderful range gun, and it is small enough to be carried inside the waistband or outside the waistband, or even potentially a pocket, even though it's getting a little bit on the big side for a pocket. This is a Remora pocket holster, size 10. It just slides in. You can also get the IMI holster, which is a similar concept to the Blackhawks, and it slides right in. Uh, the biggest difference between this holster and the Blackhawks is the release mechanism is safer on this one because when you push down on it and you pull back, the, uh, the finger is going to land on the frame. On the Blackhawk, the release button is down here and if it gets hung up and you're in stress and you're pushing hard and you're getting excited and you finally get it to cut loose, look where your finger goes. So the IMI holster eliminates that problem no matter how hard you push or how stressed you get. Worst case scenario, your finger lands on the frame which is a much better place for it to land. <clears throat> Overall the gun's roughly the size of a Glock 19 and would fit into you know, slip style holsters like this that would fit the 19. 
it does not have interchangeability with the holster, you know, this style, or the magazines, the M1 and M2 are not interchangeable. The M2 magazines will only fit the M2 and vice versa. And the older IMI holsters for the classic P1 and the, or the classic uh, original one and the M1 will not fit the M2. However, the newer generation holsters will fit both. Thank you. Please stay tuned for some more range footage after this video. If you like our videos, please like, share, subscribe, and give us a thumbs up. Thank you.